My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can compare two Excel files and update the cells with UI path. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UI path and RPA. So uh, the question was from a user, from a viewer. He asked in one of my videos in the comment sections how uh, we could do so, uh, a certain thing. If you have questions and ideas for a video, just text me in the comment section and I'll definitely make a video if it can uh, be interesting for a broad audience. And this is a great question from Melvin Cronin. He asks, let me show you in Excel because that's uh, more easy. He asks, he have a, an Excel sheet here with company and addresses. We have five companies in this example and we got corresponding addresses. I just put in address A, B, C, D, E, but you can just uh, type in whatever you want. That could be a longer address. And then he want to know that there, he want to compare it to a, a Excel sheet with updated addresses. So for example, this Halliburton, they got an updated address to road. Then we want to update it here. So we want to update Halliburton and then we will have road here instead of B. We want to look at Liberty Media. They moved to street. However, there's no Liberty Media here, so we won't update that. And finally, we got Bruce Allen Hamilton. They moved to Avenue. And so we will update E to er, Avenue. Let's see how that is done in UiPath. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So first here, we will er, have an Excel application scope. Drag this guy in. We will choose the workbook path. Mine is just this new Microsoft Excel worksheet. I placed it on the desktop like this and click open. Now we can open it again to have the data up. What we'll do is that we'll have a read range from the Excel activities. Drag this guy in. We will read the sheet and we will read the sheet addresses because we want to loop through each of these rows. So first we'll have this row, uh, this row and then we want to look at all these rows over here to check if there's a match and if there's a match we want to update the address. So uh, essentially we will uh, have a read range and we will say addresses because that's the sheet name down here and then we want to read it to a data table. Let me drag this in here again so we can see it. And we want to read it uh, to a data table that could be like control K we could call it DT addresses. Then we want to make a copy of this read range and I'll show you why in a few minutes. So we'll copy control C and we'll control V. But in, here in the output we'll choose another data table. So let's delete this, press control K, say DT, say output, like that. And then finally we want to have a created data table with the updated addresses in. So uh, let's drag in another read range. And we will copy the sheet name down here. So let me uh, copy the sheet name. Specify that here if I could hit it like this. And we will uh, output it to a data table again. So control K. We could call this uh, DT update like that. Now what we are doing is, sorry, we want to create our iteration to our rows here. So we want to have, first we want to iterate through these ones and for each one of these rows, we want to compare it to each one of these rows. So that'll be a nested for each row. So let's find a for each row here. Drag this guy in. Let me delete this body. So what we'll do is that we'll loop through for each row in this uh, DT addresses. So let's specify that here. And what we'll do is that we'll create a, an index counter. So control K int index. I'll show you why in a few minutes again. And what we'll do is that we are now uh, iterating two for each row in this addresses. And what we wanted to do is that we will, would compare it to each one of these rows. So that'll be the nested for each row that I talked about. Let us drag that in. First, let's delete the body here. We will now rename this because otherwise it will get complicated and the risk of error would be bigger. So we'll just say for each line, you can say A and B if you want it, but row and line, they are fine descriptions. And we will iterate through the data table with the updated addresses like this. So now we created a nested uh, loop and then we will ask if um, 
if this company, if this company here, Halliburton, oh, sorry, if this Magellan Health matches a Magellan Health over here, we will update the address. So let's drag in an if like this. Drag it in here. What we want to compare is that we want to compare the company from here to the company here. So that would be row and then item and then the column name that's a company and then to string. With that equals line item company to string sorry to string then we want to do something and what do we want to do we want to update the addresses however because we created this loop and we are still iterating through we cannot update those two data tables and that's why we created our output data table which essentially is just a copy of the addresses so we will just update that and finally print it to the excel so now we found a match what do we want to do we want to update the address right Let's drag in this assign here. And first we will specify where do we want to write to. Let me open this expression at the top here. That's the same. We can just uh, get a better view. So we want to update the data table uh, DT output. So that is DT output. Then we'll specify what row we want to update. Rows. And what's smart here is that we created this int index counter. So we know in what row we are at in the DT addresses, and that will be the same uh, row in the DT output because those two data tables, they are identical. identical. So here we will just specify it index like this. Then we want to specify what column we want to write to, and that will be the address column like this. So now we specified where we want to write to, click OK. Now we just need to specify what we want to write into this cell. And what do we want to write? Well, we want to write whatever address we found here in this uh, data table DT update. So that's just line item address to string. And why is that? Well, that's because we are, we will just take this address here, Road Street Avenue, if there's a match, and update it over here. So let me close down this Excel sheet. So now we say we created our loop, and we just need to write it out to Excel again. So let's find a right range. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and IPA. Drag in this right range. Where do we want to write? We want to write to the addresses, right? So let us specify that. If we want to write to a new sheet, you just specify it here, but we want to override it. So we'll just choose the entire range. And then the data table, that will be the DT output, like this. We will also add headers. So that's it. Let's see if that works. We'll run it and then I'll open our Excel sheet here. Now we run. You'll see that UiPath will uh, make it visible for us in a few seconds. And we will wait. Now we can see that it's visible because we chose that, but we didn't uh, unchose it in the uh, properties up here. We can see that. We made it visible, but let's inspect our data and verify that we indeed updated the addresses. We'll start Excel here. And we can now see that we updated uh, Halliburton and Bush Allen Avenue. That's because uh, Bush Allen Hamilton, that's because we uh, have a match. So that's it. Thanks, Melvin Cronin, for the great questions. Uh, just provide we need more questions, both you, Melvin, and all you other viewers, that will be uh, awesome. Have a good day. Bye-bye.